Hello everybody, my name is Rapid and welcome to Final Fantasy 16. This is part 49. Hopefully enjoy remember to like, comment, and subscribe and let's begin. So let's head to the above bit and yeah, let's go. So uh, we finished So we defeated um Kupka in the last episode which was quite long, so yeah, sorry about that, it was one hour long. So hopefully this mission will be fine and like yeah, let's continue. Uh let's go up here and yeah, let's go. So hopefully it'll be fine and everything will be good. So yeah, um, hopefully I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. I'm jealous. Let's talk. Clive, you're back. I am, and with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Okay, let's w have a word with Vivian then. I will. Okay. So in the last episode, it's quite long. It was one hour. Oh, it was a uh, quite long hour. Um. So yeah, it was quite a uh, long hour. So sorry about that. It was one hour long. But yeah, hopefully this episode will be fine. And let's talk to Vivian. Ah, the conquering hero returns, and with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave. As did his men. Slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Alright, so I guess we're going to have another history lesson. <clears throat> the kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. The Battle of Belenus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. 
Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the Royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. Mm -hmm. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Yep, we will, definitely. The price of today's instruction. I've never... <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Yeah, let's spread the word, man. Spread the word. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to um, skip it. So, um, let's go talk to a few people. So we have to talk to three, I guess. So yeah, let's go. And head on with the adventure. So, um, hopefully we can finish Final Fantasy 16 within a month or so, so, yeah, it's a very long game, so hopefully you guys will stick around for it. It's a very fun game, though, it's a very fun game. Let's open the door, and, uh, yeah. Let's tell the person. Ah, Clive, have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kuka is dead. He... Oh my! Can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is a big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Brilliant. All right, we, we told one person. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, <coughs> Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A bringer of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. It means a lot. Uh -huh. Let's go and talk to the other people here. Someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. 
Kukur is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Okay. Let's talk to the last guy here. We're done. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooper is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Huh? A new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Okay, we're done telling everyone nice. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. You're joking. Wait, oh yeah, we have to go the other way. I always get confused in the hideaway. Like, do you go this way or that way? That way or this way? This way, that way? But yeah. <coughs> I'm telling you. Here we go. True. I heard it from Otto's own lips. Hugo Kupka is dead. Yep. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tong down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Yep, let's go. Um, this video is going quite short because I did a longer video, like for a while, so um... How do we get to it? Oh, do we go up here maybe? Started reading books that don't have anything. Hmm. I think we go down. Yeah, we go. I think we go downstairs probably. Yeah, I think we probably have to go downstairs. Yeah, probably, probably, probably. I went up to give some greens to the chocobo. Bloody bit me. Could be nasty. Okay. He cracked the crystal too. Okay, so. Okay. It's no joke. Fang is gone. Oh, we go through here. Ah, oh, okay, okay, yeah. 
Okay, I got it. I got it now. I got it. I was like really confusing. Hmm, where do we go? Where do we go? I wonder. Here, here, there, or here. Hmm, okay. Okay, oh, we go down here. Yeah, we go around here. I always get confused. Like, which way is it? There we go. Finally, we made it. We made it. Boo, yeah. Boo, boo, boo. Finally. If I don't come up with something soon. All right, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind, and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. Mm -hmm. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. Okay, so where to go to Blackthorn then? I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. Okay, where's Blackthorn? Ah, Blackthorn is here. Right, we have a long way ahead, so let's go. Let's keep on moving to Blackthorn. Do -do 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 Where is Blackthorn? He's almost there, hopefully. It's right about the corner here. There we go. We made it to Blackthorn. Blackthorn. Can I ask a favor? Out with it. It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. Yep. So Mid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if 
if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valcroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Okay, let's go. Minds up who's going where, we can get this over with. Okay, accept quest. Laying off steam. Right, let's go. You going after the stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Um, hmm. What, uh, uh, maybe Gav? What, uh, Gav? Gav, you're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of... I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. Yep, let's meet by the river. I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn's supplier. Take care. You two, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. Alright, so let's get a move on then. Let's go. Woo! We done it! Hallelujah! Oh, that's a good prize. That one you want to worry about. Okay, uh, let, let's head back downstairs and uh, yeah, let's go traveling. So make the river to like uh, Valkyrie, I think is how it's pronounced. I don't know, but yeah. So if I pronounced it wrong, so uh, let's go head on. <laughs> so anyway, so we're here, and then let's go. Then let's go off. Welcome home, Sid. <laughs> Didn't know you had that many. Yes, open the world map. So we have to head to Valkyrie. Dal Durham? Okay, we have to go to D Durham in. Right, we're here. We're back. Let's go. Do 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 do. We are going. We're going on a long journey. Looks like I found the river. Where's Gav? Yep, where is Gav? Ah, uh, Gav's already 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 over here. Let's go. Right, quest nearby. <laughs> Than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about, just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Yep. Race, yeah? Yep, let's go. Let's collect this stuff, whatever it is. So, let's go. Do, do, do. Then when we collect this stuff, I'll stop the video here. So it doesn't take too long. And I'm hoping so. 
Okay, collect it. So this is Stardust. <laughs> it just looks like black sand to me. And then one more. Where is one? Ah, it's over here. And then one more. Okay, collect. Oh, it's over there. Oh, okay, okay. I was wondering where it was. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. Collect. Now where's the last? Ah, oh, there it is! Found it! Finally! I was looking for it everywhere. I think it was the, just a glitch. Boom! We finally found it. Oh, thank God! Thank God! Nice. That should be enough for now. Okay. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Yep. Let's talk to Gav. And then I'll stop the video there. So yeah, let's go. All right. Finally, we've done it. Woohoo!
I was like, hmm, where is it? Where is it? It was like being really glitchy, like sometimes. So. But luckily, we found it, and let's talk to Gaff. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Yeah, confirm. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. All right. You ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Alright, so let's get back to the area then. Right. Let's go. Ready to go home, boy? Oh. Yep, let's go. Right, so let's go home and let's go back. All right, so quick location. Um, open world map. There we go. World map. Then head back to the hideaway. Then I'll stop the video there. Yeah, that would be a good place to stop. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching part 49 of Final Fantasy 16. I'll be doing part 50 really soon, so hopefully you enjoyed part 49, and I'll be doing part 50 really soon. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be doing more Final Fantasy 16 videos and other videos really soon. So see you next time. Bye!